This is my rig for drilling the cap strips. <clears throat> I've got all four of them stacked up. I've got the ends justified to the to the uh, tip link tip end because on this I'll I will cut this end off to match the uh, attach angles or attach pieces that go to the uh, fuselage. This vise Harbor Freight Special I don't remember it's not much, but it allows you to adjust right and left. So I've set it up. So the drill bit's in the center of the vise, and then I can come down to the rib angle location that I've marked, center it up with the right and left, and drill that hole. So I'll go through and drill all the rib locations first, and I'll put a Coleco in them after I'm done, and I'll take my rivet fan, and I will set it to about an inch, and come back and mark all the rib or all the rivet locations in between and then go through and drill them. And you can see when a rivet lo lines up on one of these stations or where the hinges are going to go for the flaps, you just don't knit those rib uh, those uh, holes right now. This is a long drawn out process. It takes about six hours I think last time to drill all these holes. And uh, going through this many pieces you tend to gum up a little on aluminum. I don't use any coolant because I don't want to deal with it when it's time to paint and having to remove all that. So just take my time and work through it. So the end of the spar, all the rib holes have been drilled. So now what I'm going to do, take those two Colecos out, I set up the rivet fan, we're set right about an inch, and then we'll just put those in the holes. <clears throat> That'll give us our typical spacing, which is just slightly over an inch. And I'll just mark out where all these holes go. And then I can drill them. So now down this end, I mark out the holes. You can see that's an area I said I didn't want to put a rivet, so we'll skip it. And these will be fine. And one of the uh, hinges for the aileron will end up out there. Is what, and it'll have a bolt that goes through there. We go right to the end. All right, so now I have all my holes marked for uh, this section. I will put my Clecos back in and start drilling these and work my way down this cap strip to the other end, putting all the holes in between the ribs in and skipping all the areas that don't need a hole.